Proxima b, a new Earth next door? The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has once again extended the frontiers of human knowledge this time, by focusing its advanced instruments on a truly extraordinary destination. Proxima Centauri b, often shortened to Proxima b. This exoplanet orbits Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star located a mere 4.2 light years away from Earth. That's right it lies within our cosmic neighborhood, closer to us than any other known exoplanet. What makes Proxima b particularly fascinating is that it orbits within its star's so-called habitable zone a region where temperatures could, under the right atmospheric conditions, allow liquid water to exist on the surface. Since water is essential for life as we know it, this makes Proxima b one of the most promising worlds in the search for extraterrestrial habitability. But now, with the unprecedented sensitivity and spectroscopic power of JWST, scientists have begun to glimpse not just whether the planet is habitable, but whether it might actually be harboring life. Anti-clockwise arrows tidally locked, yet potentially lush unlike Earth, Proxima b is likely tidally locked, meaning one side always faces its star in eternal daylight, while the other remains trapped in perpetual night. For a long time, scientists thought such conditions might make a planet uninhabitable too hot on one side, too cold on the other. But that idea has evolved. Now, experts believe that the thin strip of land between the day and night sides the terminator zone could provide a sweet spot, a twilight belt where temperatures might remain relatively mild. This region could act as a stabilizing climate corridor, potentially hosting lakes, rivers, or even oceans. Joost's infrared observations support this theory. Its instruments detected subtle but consistent temperature gradients, indicating that heat is being redistributed across the planet's surface especially from the hot day side to the cold night side. This suggests the presence of an active atmosphere, capable of circulating air and energy a foundational trait for Earth-like climates. Fog atmospheric composition. Hints of something more but JWST didn't stop at measuring temperature. Using high-precision spectrometry, it also captured the chemical signature of Proxima b's atmosphere during its transit across its host star. What it found was nothing short of extraordinary. Among the gases identified was methane a molecule that on Earth is often associated with biological activity. Methane can be produced through geological processes like volcanic eruptions, but those typically also generate carbon monoxide or other chemical byproducts. Curiously, those byproducts were missing. This imbalance has led researchers to seriously consider the possibility that methane on Proxima b might be biogenic that is, produced by living organisms. On Earth, certain microbes emit methane as a natural part of their metabolism. The parallels are difficult to ignore. But perhaps the most eyebrow-raising discovery was a spectral feature resembling chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs compounds that, as far as we know, do not occur in nature and are entirely human-made. The presence of something resembling CFCs could potentially point to technological activity, raising questions that move us beyond the biological and into the technological realm of life. Of course, the scientific community urges caution. This could be a false positive, an artifact caused by an unknown natural process or an error in data interpretation. But even the possibility that we've detected non-natural chemicals in an exoplanet's atmosphere is, to say the least, staggering. Cloud reflectivity and surface clues JWST also measured the albedo of Proxima b that is, how much light the planet reflects back into space. And the results were intriguing. Rather than showing a uniform pattern, the planet's reflectivity appeared uneven, suggesting regional differences on the surface or in the atmosphere. This could imply cloud systems, liquid bodies, or even land features such as continents or ice caps. Some researchers speculate that such variability might even be indicative of vegetation, as Earth's plant-covered regions reflect light differently than barren landscapes. The changing light curves over time hinted at a dynamic environment possibly with weather systems and rotating surface features. These changes would be highly unusual on a dead, static world, lending further Proxima b, evidence of a living world? As we continue exploring the latest observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, the case for Proxima b being a potentially living planet becomes even more compelling. 
Let's dive deeper. Shield a planet shielded from stellar rage One of the most important factors for planetary habitability is atmospheric protection. Proxima Centauri, the red dwarf star Proxima b orbits, is known for its powerful and frequent stellar flares bursts of radiation that could strip away a planet's atmosphere over time. Yet JWST's long-term monitoring revealed something surprising. Proxima b's atmosphere remains largely intact. This strongly suggests that Proxima b may have a magnetosphere a magnetic field surrounding the planet that deflects harmful charged particles, much like Earth's own magnetic field. JWST cannot measure magnetic fields directly, but it can observe their effects on atmospheric stability. The implications are profound. A magnetosphere is essential for preserving surface conditions, protecting biological material, and sustaining a long-term climate system. Thermometer climate stability, a self-regulating system? Further analysis of JWST's multi-epic data revealed another crucial piece of the puzzle, atmospheric consistency. Despite fluctuations in stellar radiation, Proxima b's atmosphere maintained a stable temperature and chemical composition over time. This kind of balance suggests the presence of feedback loops interactions between the atmosphere, surface, and potentially biology that keep the climate in check. On Earth, these loops are essential for keeping conditions within a range suitable for life. They involve everything from the carbon cycle to photosynthesis to volcanic outgassing. To find signs of similar balance on Proxima b is nothing short of extraordinary. Fire heat from below. Signs of geothermal activity Perhaps one of the most astonishing revelations came from thermal readings taken during Proxima b's dark phase, when it was expected to be at its coldest. Instead, JWST detected elevated temperatures on the night side higher than could be explained by atmospheric circulation alone. This raises the possibility of geothermal heat coming from within the planet itself. On Earth, such internal heat powers volcanism, plate tectonics, and even underwater ecosystems that thrive in total darkness, such as those found near hydrothermal vents. If similar systems exist on Proxima b, life might not just survive there it could be thriving underground, completely shielded from the hostile surface environment. DNA biology, geology, and technology, all in one? Taken together, JWST's findings are painting a multi-layered portrait of Proxima b. A circulating, protective atmosphere biologically suggestive gases like methane and a possible signature of artificial compounds like CFC's surface reflectivity hinting at clouds, water, or land feature signs of internal heat and geological activity long-term atmospheric and climate stability in direct evidence of a magnetosphere each of these data points is fascinating on its own. But when combined, they form a pattern one that is difficult to explain without invoking some form of life, or perhaps even technological civilization. Telescope what comes next? The scientific world is now turning its attention to confirming these findings. Future observations from the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, in Chile and NASA's upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope are expected to provide even higher resolution data. Meanwhile, radio telescopes from SETI are being directed at Proxima Centauri, scanning for artificial signals that could accompany technological life. What was once 